The winters are colder these days, far colder than I remember them being when I was young. Not just colder, though, darker, too. Used to be that I could stand out on the porch and see the fields clear as day, and even those rolling hills past them beneath the light of the moon and the stars so vivid in the night sky that you could stare for hours if you weren't careful. I didn't even carry a flashlight most times. Now I'm not quite sure what it is, but I never see those stars anymore, and I haven't for many years. The moon's like an old friend who's moved on to greener pastures, only coming by when it suits and never for too long. The only illumination out there to be seen is the distant polluted glow of city lights on the horizon and the occasional wink of my lunar visitor peeking between the perpetual cloud cover above. That is, until recently. They kept their distance at first, but I saw them just the same. It was impossible not to, like great fireflies hovering in the black. It was only when they drew closer, leaving the hills and descending into the limits of my family farm beyond the fields that I knew for sure they were no fireflies, although insectoid, they undeniably were. The buzzing when they'd arrive in a group could be heard as soon as I opened a window or the front door, and there they'd hover, buzzing in place, spread across the dark expanse while I stood so often staring back. This continued for some time, weeks, maybe, until I began to see them in my sleep. The buzzing filled my waking thoughts, too. Before long, I could think about nothing else. Even from the night I first saw those balls of shimmering green and pink and blue and other colors I doubt even have names off in the distance, I didn't really feel all that frightened. Just curious as they were. I'm not afraid of them now either. In fact, I plan to go for a walk in the fields after sunset before they come so I don't scare them off. They're more scared of me than I am of them after all. They aren't so bad. Not at all. I felt as much in the dreams and more. I want them to approach me, to commune with me. I want the swarm to coalesce and carry me off on their luminescent backs to the world from where they come. It's a beautiful place full of life and collar punctuated by the joyous buzzing of a trillion divine insects shining forever in the darkness and filling it up to the heavens with the perfect light of pure beauty.